the Royal Navy nuclear-powered submarine will conduct a port visit to Perth, demonstrating the strong existing naval partnership between Australia and the United Kingdom. The Astute-class submarine will go alongside HMAS Stirling in Rockingham, Western Australia on Friday 29 October 2021. The submarine has been part of the British Carrier Strike Group deployment to the Indo-Pacific which had recently exercised with a range of Royal Australian Navy units alongside numerous engagements with regional partners. Her visit to Australia is to provide the crew with a short period of respite. The ship's company have conducted a 14-day quarantine period prior to entering Australia and will abide by all COVID-19 restrictions set by the Western Australian government. UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said, The British, Australia and our Five Eyes intelligence partners have a long history of friendship, and our navies have enjoyed a close and mutually beneficial relationship for over a hundred years. With many shared security interests, it is natural that Australia is at the heart of the British's Indo-Pacific tilt. The permanent maritime presence in the region provided by HMS Tamer and Spey further demonstrates this resolve and our commitment to a truly global Britain. The visit comes six weeks after Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced an enhanced trilateral security partnership between Australia, the Brithis and the United States, AUKUS. Minister for Defence, the Han Peter Dutton MP, said the submarine's visit was a testament to the three nations' commitment to greater cooperation on security and defence capabilities. The AUKUS partners have committed to bolstering our collective efforts in meeting the challenges posed by our strategic circumstances in the Indo-Pacific, Minister Dutton said. The Royal Navy's visit to Perth reflects this commitment but is also a clear demonstration of the strong ties between our two navies that go back more than a century. We look forward to continued engagement over the coming decades as we work together in the pursuit of a secure, stable and prosperous region. We are bound by our deep commitment to preserving a rules-based global order in the maritime domain, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, and look forward to further strengthening our strategic partnership into the future," said Minister Dutton.